What's up Capricorn? Welcome to your mid-month reading. I hope that you're doing well. Thank you so much for being with me here today. I really appreciate you. If this reading helps or resonates, let me know by leaving a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the information is in the description box down below. And if you'd like to follow me over on my Instagram and TikTok, you can find me there at Jade Stone Tarot. So with that being said, Capricorn, let's get right into your reading and see what messages need to come through for you for the second half of November. What's going on for Capricorn? Capricorn, please show me clearly. Messages for Capricorn, summarizing Venus for the second half of November 2022. Any messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? We have the Three of Cups. Beautiful energy. Messages for Capricorn for the second half of November. What's going on for Capricorn? Show me clearly. And, whoa. <laughs> Did y'all see that? It just hit me right in the lip. We have page of cups reversed okay we also have the two of pentacles give me one more for capricorn summarizing venus what's going on for capricorn for the second half of november wow okay we have the ace of cups and we have the star reverse okay so we're gonna keep these cards you might be dealing with an aquarius or you may have aquarian placements we also have the hierophant we have the two of wands ten of wands and the queen of swords you have some choices to make about your commitments you have two paths that you can take all right it's time for you to get clear with what it is that you want um there okay hold on there's a lot <laughs> there's a lot going on here we have um let's just start off with this three of cups like capricorn second half of november you got a lot of awesome things going on you are celebrating you're with loved ones friends family you're making good memories there's lots of good laughs and you're just enjoying life you might be going out you might be um there might be invitations to celebrate maybe it's someone's birthday um it is a holiday season that's approaching you know if you're in the states you guys are celebrating um thanksgiving and then we have all the holidays in december so you know you're gonna be very busy you're gonna be busy as hell with a lot of people having a lot of fun you're gonna be busy having fun all right i would just say be mindful of overindulging um and what's this page of cups reversed about here being blinded Mm, being blinded be mindful because if you see in this page of cups she's blindfolded these little mermaids well this this one blindfolded um blindfolded by the surface level okay okay that's interesting oh don't make any commitments okay <laughs> don't make any commitments when you're like super like up and high and in the sky and you're feeling great and everything's amazing and woo yeah like you know maybe you're celebrating maybe you're partying whatever maybe you're just feeling really good about life in general um and then you start making all these plans or you make all these promises and then like the next day or then a couple days later you're not really in that same high vibe like woo let's do everything right and life comes back down kind of like middle ground and you're like shit why did i make that commitment or why did i make that promise or um why did i agree to that or like like this is a random ass message like don't be i mean you do you but some of you might be like impulsive where it's like you get a, like a you're drunk and you get a tattoo or like a piercing or some shit like you just do some impulsive shit or like you shave your hair but i mean like you know what you live your life to the fullest capricorn if that's what makes you happy great but i'm kind of picking up a bit of like an impulsive energy or being blinded by like feeling really good um or they're again small and you know capricorn you guys your card is the devil we don't have the devil in this reading as of yet but um I just gotta say, be mindful of overindulgence, because that might just blind you. Um, something could be blinding you a bit, or you're, <laughs> like, not seeing the reality of something. Hmm. Hmm. What could that... We'll, we'll definitely clarify that, but... Um, yeah, I would just say if you because you got choices coming in here, you need when you make these choices about your commitments, you need to be in the most level headed place. You need to be in the most balanced place 
we have Libra energy out here at the Queen of Swords. You need to be very clear and take this choice seriously. Because this choice, this might even be about marriage for some of you. We have the Hierophant out here. This could be about marriage or higher level of commitment. Um, and there's some something about sacrifices is coming up. We have the Ten of Wands and then the Two of Wands. So they're telling me, indicating that something here needs to be dropped. And this is how this is how the cards are laid out. We have the Queen of Swords pointing her sword over at the Ten of Wands to then the Two of Wands. So it's like you need to make lower down your options. You need to clear out. There's a lot of distractions. There's a lot on your plate, right? There's a lot. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of distractions and these distractions can, can um, cause your vision to be a bit blurry. So for you to make the best possible choice, you need to knock out you need to knock out all those distractions so that you have a clear uh clear viewpoint about like what path to take because i feel like there's a lot there's a lot of like there's a lot of good shit going on which is awesome and amazing and enjoy that to the fullest but also like the all these all these um like the glistening and the gold and the shiny and the new it's like also just be mindful of like illusions i'm kind of feeling like there might be a bit of illusions here with the star reversed there might be some like illusions or not seeing things completely full on like you know she's hidden like if you see in this car she's hidden with her hair um kind of like you know can't really she kind of has her back turned so it's like you're not seeing the full picture there's something you're not seeing the full picture on almost like you could be blinded by love or blinded by your emotions or blinded um maybe not i was gonna say blinded by less but i'm not really seeing that here just like maybe in love with the idea of love for some of you like you're feeling all these awesome loving high vibe emotions and that's amazing and like again nothing is bad about that this is great it's just not um letting it fully consume you because if you're like <sighs> needing to just find the balance of it you know that's i think yeah right two of pentacles need to find the balance bruh literally right here duh um because there's some there's a lot like that you're juggling and there's also a lot that's up in the air um But it's pretty concrete it's pretty concrete like there's a nice flow there's a nice rhythm and it's about you just maintaining that now again two of pentacles and two of wands choices choices but i'm really feeling like don't make any choices until you're certain or you're very clear and direct with what exactly it is that you want to settle down with or fully commit to because it feels like once you commit you're locked in long term securing that for your future so just make sure it's what you really want okay all right let's do some clarifying let's get some details here um and let's see what's going on okay but everything's coming together that's great um there could be like you might be meeting someone or crossing paths with someone who is like like a mentor or a teacher there's someone who has a lot of wisdom to share with you you have a lot of wisdom to share with others too higher level of learning of course even religious studies or spiritual studies things like that coming up or might be something that interests you in the next couple of weeks is there anything else we have we have taurus energy as well as aquarius energy all right let's do some clarifying what deck should i use for this you know we're gonna just go with this one all right Let's take a look into this page of cups reverse. I am very, I kind of feel like there could be someone, if this is in regards to like a romantic connection. Oh yeah. And also with the star reverse, be mindful of people that aren't actually like people who come across very charming, but like there's some strings attached or there's something, again, something that's hidden or like someone's intent. Let, let's just, let's just clarify this page of cups reverse because there might be someone who's like really charming you but um it's kind of what i said to libra in one of their readings i was like all that glitters ain't gold all that shiny ain't a diamond so you better watch out and be careful and really listen to your intuition here <laughs> with the high priestess at the bottom How about the page of cups reversed for capricorn for the second half of november <sighs> kind of this page of cups reversed for capricorn for the second half of november do you want to come out or not? 
Do you want to come out? No? Is it a yes? Is it a no? Oh, judgment. You know what? We're going to take it. Judgment. Use your judgment. Use your judgment. Use your judgment. Use your discernment. Because you're kind. Of, it's kind of showing here. Kind of shown here, like you're not really fully using your judgment. Like you're, <laughs> you know. Let me just keep it going. Let, like let, let's just keep pulling some more about this page of cups reverse for Capricorn, second half of November. Seven of Pentacles. Page of cups reverse. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Cups. Anything else about this page of cups reverse for Capricorn? Death. Change. Changes. Magician at the bottom. Two of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. It seems like you're wanting to rush into something. That's what it feels like here. Knight of Pentacles reverse with the Seven of Pentacles. You've been very patient here about something. You've been very, 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 very patient. And now that it's finally like coming in, it's like you don't want to wait any longer. You don't want to, you don't, you just want to jump right in. You just want to fully like jump into something. Like I feel like you're really thinking with your heart. You're really like following your heart. And that's nothing wrong, nothing wrong with that. But you're just needing to find the balance, right? And make sure that like your judgment is clear and you're seeing the full facts about the situation you're you know what you're getting yourself into um with judgment coming out this is like a decision must be made and we had like literally two of pentacles come out twice two of wands you got some you got a choice to make it's a big choice and this choice does create change but it seems like you're wanting to rush into something right magician two of pentacles and the eight of wands like you're wanting to just like jump right into something you don't want to wait any longer you've been waiting so patiently and now that it's finally here or now that it's finally like starting to happen you just want to like let's go let's do this damn thing like some of you it's like you, you there's like a relationship that's growing and you're just like let's just get married tomorrow like you know so um not saying don't do it it's just like use your judgment and just make sure that you're not going in blinded right um and just to follow your intuition follow your intuition there might also be some things uh, about the past that needs to be dealt with or cleared up with um before moving forwards but yeah let's let's keep it going let's do some let's clarify um Let's clarify this Ace of Cups. Let's see what this Ace of Cups is all about. We'll also look into the Star Reverse and see what that could be indicating here. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get into this. We'll get all the clarity to get the full scope of things for you. Look to look at this. The Ace of Swords at the bottom. Yeah, you're, you will get you the clarity you need so that you know how to handle this. Okay. Um, Ace of Cups for Capricorn. For the second half of November, Ace of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. You're showing up, you're investing, you're putting your heart on the table here. You have the Page of Cups. Talk about this Ace of Cups for Capricorn. Second half of Temperance. Talk about this Ace of Cups, Five of Pentacles reversed. And the Three of Pentacles. Ten of Wands at the bottom. There we go. Double confirmation with the Moon and the Lovers and the High Priestess. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, Pisces energy. Gemini energy. More Pisces energy with the Moon. Okay. Well, we'll talk about that. Let me put this. Okay. We'll just put that here. Because, again, there's... So we're clarifying this ace of cups this is obviously talking about some sort of relationship there's a connection here um definitely soulmate energy 1000 percent you and this person that you're connecting with i want to say that the feelings are mutual here with temperance y'all both feel the same way great um i wonder what this five of pentacles is about we'll see we'll see i'll get i'll get to that um but there is a connection here but there's still a lot that's yet to be revealed there's still some illusions or see not maybe not maybe not like secrets but there's it's telling me like the, yeah like there's still you don't know the full scope or you don't you don't fully know this person yet or like hmm 
yeah like let's just just keep using that example it's like this is someone that you're like i want to get married tomorrow it's like you don't even know like this person fully and it's just like are you sure <laughs> like are you like just to be certain because there's still there's still some things that you haven't yet discovered and that they haven't discovered about you not to say that you and this person aren't compatible but i feel like there could be some like illusions or like just being blinded by love <laughs> love is blind <laughs> maybe you're watching that show i know i watched it when it came out uh like a couple weeks ago or whatever um but like literally though it's just like because love can blind us especially the feelings when they're very fresh and like exciting and new and you're you're feeling it really deeply and it's it's definitely seems like this is new page of cups this feels like it's new um you're maybe i think you're just needing to maybe take it a little slow maybe this is not the time to just like speed a rush you know because you got all the time in the world some of you're like no i don't okay well then <laughs> you know live your life right do what's best for you i feel that there's a lot of support there is a lot of support here and that this connection this relationship is worth investing in um it feels like this this connection it just flows very easily it's very effortless it's very natural um there's just a really nice harmony it may be not like your typical relationship or it may be a little like unusual or like non-traditional or like just a bit different than like the rest or maybe it's like different than your usual type or whatever um but yet it, it just it everything clicks everything just feels in perfect unit there's no such thing as perfect but it just feels so like two puzzle pieces just fitting exact you know um five of pentacles reverse and the three of pentacles you learning to okay this is about you coming out of your shell and learning to hmm because I think it's relating to this Ten of Wands, perhaps, like the burdens of the, like, your past. So I feel like this is about you learning to open up your heart. And there's, you're, there's, okay, let's, let me clarify the clarifier. Because <laughs> I always want to know what, let me just make sure, let me just, I'm not, I'm not 100%. I'm not going to bullshit. I'm not going to be like, oh, I know exactly. Like, we need to, let's clarify this clarifier. This five of pentacles reversed and the three of pentacles can clarify this combo. Just want to know how this clicks in with this connection here. Could this be someone that you're at a distance with? See that, yeah, we need, we need answers. Tell me about this uh, five of pentacles reversed, three of pentacles for Capricorn. And then we're going to move on. Okay. Five of Pentacles reversed with the Three of Pentacles for Capricorn. Please clarify. Five of Pentacles reversed, Three of Pentacles for Capricorn. Eight of Pentacles, which we had that come out. Double confirmation. Maybe this is something that, oh, maybe this is something that you rejected in the past or you once closed off to in the past or you shut down in the past. Or you weren't open to in the past for some reason now you're like actually i am what the hell was i thinking <laughs> all right let's see five of pentacles reverse three of pentacles for capricorn sun moon rising venus for the second half of november five of pentacles reverse three of pentacles please show me clearly the moon Pisces energy could be dealing with a Pisces. Pisces has been showing up a lot in this reading. So it's like what's been hidden. What you're not aware of. Deep ass emotions. Oh, wow. Pisces energy again. High priestess. Deep ass commo Deep ass emotions. Commotion. Deep ass emotions. Also, there may be a very deep spiritual connection that you and this person have very deep spiritual connection here um yeah see look though the moon and the high priestess this is the second time these two cards showing up in different decks that there are still 
things that you're not fully aware of in this connection there's still like especially if this is new like there's still so much to be revealed and there's still so much to find out and to learn like um like i just think that there's no need for you to rush this or force this like it's going to unfold the way it needs to naturally and you don't need to force it or like um try to put pressure on to speed things up so you know like yeah um so i will look into the star reverse and see what that's about because i think that might just give us what the answer is like the star reverse for capricorn about like perhaps that like what's being blinded what you're not fully seeing or like because again for, let, let's look at the the star upright right you see her very clearly um yeah obviously her hair is covering her but you see her very clearly whereas the reverse you only see you barely see her there's still so much to be revealed there's still so much to find out there's still so much to explore and to understand and um that's just how it feels from this situation so let's see tell me the star reverse for capricorn four of cups yeah there's still look you're not fully there's still so much you're not seeing here right there's still so much you're not seeing about this uh, uh, that will be seen eventually queen of swords um this just seems like it's like you don't want to miss out or you don't want this to just like come and go that's why it's like you feel like you need to hurry you need to secure this before you miss out or before it runs away or but that's the thing capricorn if this is meant for you nothing can get in the way nothing can stop this from happening it's secure if this is for you whatever's truly meant for you will not pass you by if it passes you by it's not meant for you and that's because there's something better so just remember that some of you just feel like i have to hurry because like i'm gonna run out of time <laughs> it's like you're not that's the thing you're not time at the star reverse anything else about the star reverse the ten of cups ten of pentacles wow nine of wands queen of pentacles this is something you really 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 want you really want it even though <laughs> you really want it okay well that's what you want if that's what you wish for that's so okay cool right queen of swords if that's what you want which let's let's uh look into this queen of swords ten of wands slash no what are we gonna look into next okay so let me just finish my thoughts here see like i feel i'm feeling this energy of just like hurry 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 it's like slow down there's no need to rush because you're going to get there look the chariot to the ten of cups you're gonna get there you're gonna get to your happy ending with this person if this person's meant to be then you don't then there you go then it is then it already is if it's meant to be then it already is and you don't need to force you don't need to worry you don't need to stress you don't need to just enjoy the process enjoy the journey and embrace the excitement of things if you feel very excited and this is worth being excited for it feels great there's a lot of love here and that there's a lot there's this is great i love that <laughs> i have no other words to express it we have the ten of pentacles out here this feels very stable this feels like there's long term there's longevity this is long lasting you see a future you want family you want children you know um yeah and you're just determined nine of wands and queen of pentacles you want to give everything to this this is that's beautiful it's really sweet but just again there's more to be revealed. There's no need to rush. There's, There really is no need for you to rush this. Enjoy it. it enjoy it. Because it's going to happen, right? It is going to happen. But there's still more There's still more of a, to a, a story that needs to be told. There's a story that's unfolding. So don't, don't, don't... It's like reading a book and then you're like at the first few chapters. You're like, oh my god, this is so good. I love this book. Let me, let me skip to the ending and read the last page or read the last chapter. It's like, don't spoil the ending. Like, you already know it. The, they're going to get the happy ending. So just don't spoil it yet, you know? Don't spoil the surprise. Okay? <laughs> that's what it feels. Okay, so let's look into... Um, let's take a look into queen of swords ten of wands okay obviously we know the hierophant and the two of wands that's a choice about this commitment or taking things to a deeper level of commitment um all right so i just want to look into this queen of swords ten of wands and see like what this is about and i think we'll wrap it up okay yeah don't spoil the surprise it's like i don't like surprises i or it's like you can't keep surprises or something like that like, <laughs> oh my gosh 
there's a lot of anticipation there's a lot it's very contagious like your energy it's very it's very fun it's very uplifting it's very bubbly i like it a lot tell me the, the queen of swords and the ten of wands hangman reversed yeah you know what this is <laughs> this is definitely not the time to make any choices at this moment this is the time for you to surrender and just let things happen and don't force anything right now. There's still a whole bunch of moving pieces and moving puzzle pieces. Yep, yeah, right? And um, this is the, you really just need to surrender. You really just need to surrender. And there's also some things that you got to release here. Six of Swords, you are moving forwards. It's destined. Like it's literally happening every single day that passes. It's happening. You don't need to force it though. Just let it happen naturally. All right? I know you're excited. It's like, you know, telling your kid, we're going to Disneyland. They're like, oh my God, I want to be there now. It's like, okay, well, that's like a month away. We're planning our trip. We got to, we got to book a car. We got to book a place to rent. We got to take care of the details, passports, all that, right? And the kid's just like, I just want to be there now. I just want to go in Disneyland and go on all the rides. It's like, okay, well, you're going to go on all those rides. You're going to have a blast. You're going to have the best time of your life. But we have to worry about the, the rest of before we got to take care of the the paperwork and stuff we got to take care of the maybe not so much fun but it's it's part of the process right so that's like <laughs> that's how i want to put it uh queen of swords ten of wands for capricorn tower reversed scorpio energy lots of water coming out here what is this the fool anything else okay ten of swords yeah this is relating okay four of swords yeah at the bottom page of wands ace of wands ten of pentacles okay yeah it's just the same old same old messages um tower reverse and the ten of swords there is this like temptation not temptation but i feel like there this is indicating of like a cycle that you've ran into in the past where Maybe things were going really, really good and then maybe you sabotaged it or you forced things and then it just didn't work out or like, you know, things just didn't go according to plan or the way that you wanted it to. And so I think that's something that you're also needing to release here is like fear surrounding that because the reason like you're obviously wanting to really push this because there's some part of you, there's some part of you that's like fearful that it's not going to work out or fearful that you're running out of time or fearful that like, you know, you're going to miss your chance. You're going to miss, you're going to miss your flight. You know, you're like, we have to get there like six hours earlier. It's like, <laughs> you know, so, um, you're needing to surrender from that. You're needing to release those fears. Um, because you're going to get there. Look, the Six of Swords and the Fool. You're going to get there. So take your time. Slow your ass down. Enjoy the process. All right? The Four of Swords, the Page of Wands, the Ace of Wands. It's here. It's happening. It's bringing you a lot of fulfillment, a lot of happiness. But you're going to have to just wait and be a little patient, okay? I know you've been really patient so far. So just keep that up. It's kind of like this happened to me in the past when like I've been super hungry and like, you know, I throw a pizza in the oven and <laughs> I'm really fucking hungry. I throw the pizza in the oven, maybe a bit higher than like it recommends. Right. And then because I want to eat it like instantly, I'm fucking starving. And then next thing you know, oh, my God, the pizza's burnt. I burnt the, I overcooked the pizza because I cooked it on too high of heat because I was impatient. I couldn't wait an extra five, ten minutes to eat a slice of pizza, you know? So it's like, don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. Okay? <laughs> All right, Capricorn, I'm going to leave your reading here. This was really fun. This was like fun energy. It's really uplifting. I liked it a lot. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoy this. Um, whenever this is happening for you, leave a like comment down below if it resonated uh subscribe to the channel i'd really appreciate it if you want to follow me on my instagram and tiktok you can find me there at jade stone tarot and you can book a private reading with me the information is in the description box down below okay so thank you so much for watching capricorn and i'm gonna let you go take care and i'll talk to you in the next one bye